Hello, welcome back to Natural Music. We are going to finish up, actually, I believe, the song, Just a Closer Walk. And this is only the second lesson. You should have went through the intro lesson. And if not, this will make perfect sense. So we're going to go over the chord structure um, of this song. We're going to do it in the key of B-flat. Um, if this is your first lesson with us um, and you have not watched the intro lesson. Um, and we're doing it in 4-4 time. So let's just talk about the chords I chose to do on this, and I'll show you just kind of the simple way to chord through this uh, with these chords, and then we'll go talk about some things that we can do some walks and we can build some licks around. Um, so we're coming out of the intro with this F augmentative, and then when we hit our thumb on the F, we start with an octave B flat. And then that's where we hit a B flat and and uh, chord so we've got b flat octave and that actually starts just and so i go um the rhythm that we're playing is octave b flat and we alternate to f as we can um and we'll hit one here and we hit a b flat here so the b flat i'm playing I'm taking this regular b flat b flat d and f and move the f down here for a more meatier sound that night so just, so since on the one of that measure, I'm hitting the octave and I'm hitting this F here, I go and hit the, the rest of the chord, B flat and D for the one and the two of that measure where you normally go one, two, three, four, like that. Since I got that F, I sustain it down. One, two, and then I release it and I'm in there. See how I did that? So one, just for that brief moment one two three four one two so just a closer okay so the general rhythm of that is we're just doing this and there'll be some things that we do around that um you're gonna see me on the the end of the three so one two three and So I'm going to go, so one, two, and then I'm going to go this F with the B flat and D back to F. That's optional. So it's like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Okay? So we'll do that with any chord, E flat. Just here and there. And you can do that as it fits in. If you see me do that with a chord, I'm just taking whatever's in my thumb. And I'm doing that. So one, two. You don't have to do that. You can keep it straight. But that's the basic rhythm that I'm going to be using for this. Um, so let's talk about the chords. Uh, watch your chord chart. We start out there on B flat. And we're going just a closer. And then it goes... Um, actually, let's not... Um, yeah, we'll use the chorus as an example. By the way, the chorus and the verses and everything are the exact same. So that's why um, there's not a verse and a chorus. This applies to verse 1, chorus, verse 2, and chorus, and whatever. So we're just keeping it all the same. Same chord structure, so this just applies. So we'll use the chorus as an example here. So just a closer walk with thee. Now, um, so we're on a B flat. And walk with thee, we're going to do a little walk. We're going to go. And we're going to end up from a B flat. And we're walking down with the E diminished there to F7. Now you could just go. Walk with thee. You know, that's just kind of the walk with thee. And I'm not going to go over those voicings um, because I'm not going to do it that way. So I'm going to go just a closer and then I'm going to go walk and I'm going to break rhythm just for a second and just with the vocals go walk with thee and then on thee I'll start rhythm back up again but we'll be to an F7 so what I'm doing there is I'm going to take a full octave F and fill in the B flat notes so see this B flat B flat D and F and then I'll add the F there if you can add that D in there and the B flat do it but if you can only add one that's fine if you could definitely add the D, that's the best one. But if you can only add the B flat, that's fine. So I'm going to roll that down. Um, and if you can only do an octave, I guess that's all you can do. You can... That don't sound too bad. I like the fullness of the full chord, though, or at least one of the notes. 
Um, we're going to roll up from an E flat, E to F, as we're rolling down. See how we're doing that? So, and then, so walk, and then with, on with, we're just going to play octave E with part of that diminished chord, which is a G and an E down there. And you can just play an octave E and you'll completely get away with it. It's so fast. In fact, let's just do that. I'll take the G out of it. I mean, that's technically what the uh, rhythm needs to play is that E diminished, but I'm gonna... Sounds nice, we'll just do it. Um, so we'll do it here, octave E with an E note down here octave E up here and then we'll go and we're gonna roll an F7 okay um, which here's an F F A and C we're gonna get rid of the F and add the seventh note in it we'll hit the F down here um, you can't add the F and I'm not going to add the E flat so I'm gonna go all right and roll that down so and then when we go, we got to hit uh, a low note F here because we're starting rhythm again. One, two, and we got to hurry up and grab the two of that measure. So one, two, hit the low note F down here or octave F. Either way is fine with the F7. So walk with me. And then so we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we got to hurry up and grab the two of that measure. And we're going to play the F7 there. F, A, C, and E flat. And then the F down here is where we're going to alternate. One, two, to the C. If we were holding the octave, we would do it like this. All right. So we'll alternate once. One, two, to C. Back to that F7. But we're going to get ready and change chords um, to a C minor. So I'm going to just alternate once. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to hit, I'm going to pump the F twice. One, two, three, four. I don't like to change on an alternate if I can help it, the, that being the C. I could go. And I don't like that. I like, so if I see that coming, F, F, and really that's a conversation you and your bass guitar player can have. Um, but if one does one and one does the other, I don't like the way it sounds a whole lot. It sounds like a little kid just pounding down there when you hit try to hit even if they're harmony notes too low it just doesn't sound right to me um so that's what we're gonna do so far we got just so we've come out of the intro just a closer walk with me all right granted jesus so anyway grant we're gonna go to a c minor there and um, I, I'm going to play C minor 7 there, so I can swap out for that. F, oh, I'm sorry, G, C, E flat, and then the, the 7 note, the flat 7, is a B flat to a C minor. So this C minor, move a G down here, still a C minor with a B flat. So now I'm not going to alternate on that because we only get one major of it, so I'm just going to pump that C twice. Green. Jesus, once again, I would change on the alternate. Granted, Jesus. And that don't sound too bad. I just don't like it as good. And there I did the, you know, I did the one, two, three, four. And, all right? One, two, three, four. So, um, so far we got uh, just a closer walk with me. Granted. Alright, so um, on the word Jesus there, we're going to go back to an F7, same F7 as before. F, A, C, E flat. So we're on the C minor. Granted Jesus. Let's pump the F twice because we only got one measure of it. Jesus is my. Now, let's, let's talk about just the chords of this and then we'll talk about a lick. On the word plea, we're going to go E flat. So if we were just playing straight up chords, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, we're not even play rhythm. You could go. But just let's just act like we're hitting chords. You're gonna go B flat. B flat diminished. I'm playing a B flat diminished to seven. C minor seven to F seven. Alright? Now you can do that. And that B flat is F, B flat, D. 
this uh, B diminished seven is, we got the B here, but I'm gonna go F, A flat, B, and D. Here's how you would play it with the B and the thumb. I'll move some of the notes down here. And then C minor seven, so that same C minor seven we were playing earlier, F, B flat, C, E flat, and then F seven, same F seven we were playing earlier, F, A, C, to E flat, so it'd be. So it's just a nice movement there. Granted Jesus is my plea. Okay, but you can do that and that sounds just fine and then you're back to daily walking. Um, but I'm gonna play this and you heard this on the demo, um, so. All right, let's see. Yeah, so it is. Oops, sorry. Okay, so there's something we can play with those chords. So in 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 the left hand, we're just gonna hit the octaves. B flat, there's the B for the B, B diminished, the C for the C minor, and then F or F down here, back to the B flat. So So our left hand by itself would be, granted Jesus is my plea. And so over those chords, we're going to play with those chords there. So I'm going to do a B flat. I'm going to go. Okay. So over the B flat, when I hit the B flat octave, I'm going to play a B flat chord up here. Octave F. I'm going to go. Octave F when I hit that B flat. And then I'm going to fill in the chord. I'm going to go D, B flat, and F. So. All right. When I go to the B diminished, all I gotta do is move this finger and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go octave F, D, and then B this time down to F, so. All right, so we got two movements there we got. All right, now we're gonna leave that octave F when we get to the C minor, and here's the C minor chord, so we're gonna start there with the E flat. We're gonna go and go E flat, when we hit the C down here, because that'll make it a minor chord. There's the minor note of that C minor. E flat, C, and then G. So there's that chord. And then we're gonna come back up and hit the seventh of that note, because the C minor, hope I wasn't saying C flat there, C minor seven that we're playing to B flat. All right, we're gonna go. So, so far we got B flat, B diminished, and C minor the seven and then we're gonna do this little twirl thing to the F and then we're gonna go a B flat back to the a all right so we're gonna go after we hit that B flat we're gonna go da -da -da, real quick so we've got And you can just go, if you can't do it that fast. But I like. All right, so now we're on that F, I'm doing F. So when we hit the A, we're on of that, into that little twinkle. I'm gonna hit the, and that's the third of the F note. So imagine this F7, we're gonna go A, A, E flat, just like we play that chord, and we're just gonna roll it down, arpeggiate it, I guess. So, to F, to E flat, to C. All right, so, so far we got. All right, now we're going back to a B flat. So I'm going to come up and finish this lick with, with my pinky, you gotta kinda grab it real quick with this D. That make that's a third of the B flat note because we're back to B flat chord, B flat octave, and we actually start rhythm again. So we're going to hit the one and then the then the two of that measure to start that rhythm again. The fill out that B flat chord, the F and the B flat. We'll hit that. So we got and we can day 
sustain. So with the B flat, A. So one, two, three, four, walking. Okay, see how that is? So um, let's do that. Let's let me do it nice and slow. So uh, granite Jesus is my plea. Okay, so, and I actually alternated there, but I shouldn't have. So, on daily walking, we're going to go B flat, and we're going to pump that B flat twice in our left hand, because we only got one measure of it. Daily. So, that regular B flat that we found. So, daily. So, that one, we hit there and fill it in. Daily walking. Um, then on walking, we have a B flat seven with a D in our left hand. So we're gonna go daily walking close to. All right, so we're in this B flat and then we're gonna go to a D. So we're gonna pump that D twice and keep that rhythm going. Play this B flat, besides we're gonna do the B flat seven. So you can just add the A flat in there or you can just play the A flat. So daily Fine either way. Depends on how meaty and how full you want to have it. Daily walking close to the Alright, so now on the um there is an E flat, and then we're gonna go to an E flat diminished seven. So we're gonna go close to the Let it be. Okay, so that E flat that we're doing, octave E flat. We're gonna pump that twice. Um and then we're going to go to an E and pump that twice. Think about this in your left hand. When we start daily walking, we're going to go B flat, B flat, B, D, D, E flat, E flat, E, E. All right. So, and that brings it all down to let it be. So, we're going to go daily walking close to the E flat. So, here's this E flat, G, um, B flat, and E flat. We're gonna go to this E flat diminished. You can jump down here if you need more power on that. Especially if you're a bass player, hitting it down there has got some, you know, ump to it. So uh, daily walking close to the. And then we're gonna go to this E flat. I'm gonna or this E diminished. I'm gonna play E diminished seven here. So here's the full E diminished seven, and I'm gonna put the E on the top. So it's the notes are E G and B flat or diminished, add this, the diminished seven there, is the um, D flat. I'm gonna take all these notes and move it down there. Cause I was right there on E flat. And so it's just easy just to change it like this and play G, B flat, D flat, and E. It's just an easier way of playing it. It's in the same range, so. Let it, all right, so see how that is? Daily walking close to the let it. Now on B, we're just going to start hitting chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, instead of going. That don't sound bad, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it like this. Um, let it be. We're going to play a B flat with an F. So B flat up here is F, B flat, D, and F. Let it be. Just sustain it. Then we're going to go to a G7. We're just going to kind of move to that. So I'm going to play octave G there. I'm going to play a G7. So F, B, and D. Yeah, and it looks like the intro one that we did in our left hand. But we're not adding the A flat because we're playing it as a G. So let it be. You could. You could go B. I'll play the A flat there. I'm just not going to. I, I like the G7 better. Let it be. Dear Lord. All right, then we're going to play a C minor on Lord, C minor 7, uh, E flat, C, and G, add the B flat in there. So from thumb up, it'll be G, B flat, C, E flat. So far we got let it, B flat with an F, G7, F, B, and D, and then C minor 7, let it be, dear Lord. And then we're going to go to uh, the F7. Octave F, all these are just falling octaves. All right. Let it be. All right, so here is the F, F, A, C, E flat. We've played this before with the F octave down there. Let it 
uh, then on B, we're gonna do just like the intro and go B, B to E flat seven to B flat, and then we're gonna go. So, so this will just be like the like the intro. There, we'll do a B flat, E flat seven to B flat to that augmentum. So we'll just go, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. octave B flat with a D. I think in the intro we did it up here. Um, but I'm gonna do it down here just for this. You can do it either way, but I'm gonna do it down here. Octave B flat with a D in there, and then hit octave B B flat by itself. After hitting it with the D, keep that sustained down here. And then we're gonna go to E flat. We're gonna add the seventh note of the E flat with the octave B flat, which is the D flat. And then hit octave B flat again. So we're gonna go. You remember this in the intro, just an octave higher. And then back to the B flat with the D in there. So. And then we're gonna do that augmentative walk. Especially if you're going into another verse or chorus. So it'll be, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. And go back and watch that intro video, but real quick, this is F, uh, D flat, A, F. And then once again, D flat, A, F, D flat, A, F. And you hit in your in your left hand. You go up and hit the chord when you that when you rolling down that first one, that first F that we hit in our thumb. You hit this F augmentative right there to state the chord F A D flat. So, ooh, and you get your hand out of the way so you can finish it out. Then you're into the next verse. So if you were going into the next verse, and I'll address this whether we're doing the tag or not. We'll run over that. Um, if you're going into the next verse, you just, you know, it feels like the end of the intro, maybe an octave lower or so. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I am weak, but thou art strong. And then you just play it again. Or if you're going into the chorus from the verse, same thing. Um, so the end of one of the verses are, uh, let it be. Dear Lord, let it be just a closer, so the same as, as the intro. Now, if you are going to the tag, which would be let it be. end it kind of jazzy like um if you are going to play that tag so it would be like let me give you an illustration you can go and listen to it in demo but i'll give it to you right here so it'll be let it be dear lord let it be you can roll it up if you want to okay so instead of going to that augmented you're coming to the end of the song and you're coming out of the last chorus you got let it be dear lord let it be instead of going to this we're gonna go and like at the beginning of the verse uh we do that g minor all right to that g flat to the b flat all right remember how we did that at the beginning of the verse here let it B. Besides, in our left hand, we're going to do an F, and then we just play. Um, so that's the same note as. Um, I'm sorry, that wasn't on the verse, that was on the intro. We went B, dear Lord. Um, so you can do that here. Uh, I like it better here. Either way will work. So on the intro, if you remember this, we did a G minor. We went octave G to D to B flat, and we went from G flat to G right here to open it up, and then we rolled down the G minor. And then we went to G flat octave with a note there, and then we went to a, uh, well, here's where it changes. I went to the B flat chord here, octave F with the D and B flat, 
But now I'm going to play the end of the chorus for the tag, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. So we're going to go to that B flat with an F. B, all right? And then we're just going to, once we hit that, put the octave F down, then we're going to go, all right? Instead of going to this, like the intro, we're going to stay on that F. We'll just walk down to it. Let it be. And hit octave F there one time. So. And then we'll jump down here and play that uh, that G7, and everything's the same from then on out. Dear Lord, let it be. But when we hit that last B flat, instead of going like this, but you could end it like that. I'm gonna end it kind of, kind of roll it <laughs> if you want to. And jazzy. So I'm gonna do that. So that'll go. Instead of hitting that last B flat, the D in there, I'm gonna hit this B flat with a six and a seven in there. It's gonna be rootless. It'll it'll impress all your friends if you've not played it before. So that's an A flat. So it's like we took B flat and we took the fifth away and added the six. We took the, the one away, the B flat, and added the flat seven. And then we do the octave B flat here. You can roll it if you want to again up there so it's let it be dear Lord, let it be all right or you can just do it that's just a b flat arpeggio with that seven in there after you hit it just hit the a flat at random but you don't have to do that i'm not even sure all what i'm doing here So uh, let me play that whole thing there um, with the tag. That way it'll work like we're on the last chorus. So um, just a closer walk with thee. Ooh, almost missed it. Here we go. Granted Jesus is my plea. So there it is, all that, and if you're going into the other, uh, and going into another verse or something, you know. I am weak, but thou, but thou art strong, okay? Listen, that is it for um, Just a Closer Walk in the key of B flat in the 4-4 four, four time. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you at the next song in the next lesson.